going on fellow preppers i'm your den and with the prepping team and today we're about to talk about something that hey look it's gonna it's gonna interest everybody in this day and age every we all have devices right all these devices they take what power so when you think about we're out uh, in the wilderness you know or could have um weather problems where the electricity goes out where you don't have power the question is how are you going to power your devices right so in this day and age they make certain things that's charged by solar okay and that's what we're going to go over some of these different devices that charge by the sun you know myself have just a little small uh power box you know if you look right now we're kind of in some shade overcast a little bit but guess what it's still being charged right now you can use this for small devices like your cell phone maybe a flashlight or something like that but hey if you don't have anything this be something good to have to keep stuff charged right so this is just something small but some of the other members are going to show you some different devices that are a lot better than this so tune in what's going on guys i'm ezra with the prepping team the one that i have right here is a monocrystalline uh, three three panels. It'll fold up like so. It uh, has magnets, so it'll, uh, what it does is it'll it'll stay compact, so that way you can it's easy to stow away. Also, this one comes on. This one is the uh, Sun Jack. This is the smaller version. This is the 15 watt version. Uh, so this one comes with a 10,000 milliamp power bank uh, and a nice little neat pouch right here where you can throw. Uh, any devices that you want to charge, you throw it right in there uh, and stow it right away while, while, you're, while you're walking or while you're hiking. Now, with, uh, another neat, neat thing about this one is the, the fact that it comes with that 10,000 milliamp power, uh, power bank. You're able, during the day, you're able to take this, take this panel. It actually comes with uh, two carabines. So you're able to take this panel and strap it or carabine it straight to your backpack as you're walking. You can have whatever, say your cell phone, maybe you have an Apple Watch, uh, whatever you want to charge, you can have it right in there charging the same time you're charging that that um, power bank. So it comes with two USB ports. That way you can charge the power bank and a separate device as well. Um, the, the one thing that I like about this one is because because of the power bank, you're storing power for the evening time, right? So during the day, you really don't want to use the power bank. You want to use strictly just solar power, right? Um, it also comes with this neat little uh, pouch here. But uh, this one is a monocrystalline one. It's uh, stiff. This one weighs just about two pounds. But um, that's the Sun Jack 15 watt solar panel. Hey, what's going on? This is Matthias. Um, so here I have a two panel um, solar panel charger. It's made by Thunderbolt Solar. Um, like the like Ezra mentioned, um, it has the little carabiners. The, that's one of the good things about this. And we were speaking earlier, the difference between his and this one is it has uh, two little metal clips right here. So that way it's a little bit more sturdy. Um, whereas I don't know if we can show you again. This one here, it doesn't. So that's one of the, the, the things that I really like about this one. This one also comes with a stand in the back. So you can stand your panels up to get a more sunlight. So I like that about this one. Um, it weighs about a show pound. Them, show them, put it down. Okay. So stand it up. Stand it up just like that. That way you can get some, get a good Russian. angle, I guess, yeah. Um, another thing I like about this one, um, it's only nine watts. Um, it puts out about 1.5 amps, um, which is not really that strong. Um, and that's mainly because it's only a two panel um, charger. So it was, it's pretty much made to be compact like that. Um, another good feature this one has is it's got this digital reader on the back. So when you open it up, it comes on and it'll show you the exact amount of watts that it's putting out. So if you don't have it in good sunlight, it'll show a lesser number. If you have it in good sunlight, it'll show you, you know, the 0.9 or one amps or however many um, watts that it's getting. So I really like that about this one. Um, like I said, it's lightweight, it folds up. 
one of the cons to having solar panels, um, especially the monocrystalline ones, is you have to be careful about how you store them. Because if you, if you put something heavy on top of them or they get bent or anything like that, these are really, really fragile. So if they get bent, they won't work. It'll uh, crack the crystals inside and it'll completely disrupt the, the charging system. All right, um, this one has two USB chargers. Um, it was fairly cheap. Uh, I'm sure we're gonna include links to all of these in the video description. Uh, this one comes, it doesn't come with the power bank. So you have to have your own power bank to charge separately, but they make uh, panels. I mean, they make power banks that sell with the kit. So it just depends on how much you wanna spend initially. All right, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it um, about the Thunderbolt Solar. They're pretty reliable. Um, so Shemaya's gonna um, bring his out next. Okay, so what I have here is the all power solar panel. As you can see, it's in a compact package, but, but, it's, but it's not a light package, okay? This panel system comes in right about five pounds. Now, when we're talking about a bug out scenario, it's easily carried in your hand. But when you add five pounds to your backpack, every every little bit, every little bit starts to count. Every little bit starts to count. So when you have uh, when you already have your cooking system, your heating system, your 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 uh, back your uh, tents and 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 and, and shelter and uh, what do you call it uh, uh, tarps. Every little bit adds to the weight on your back. So it shortens the distance you can travel. So though I like this solar panel system, it is heavy, that's the con. But the size of it allows, you see it rolls straight out, allows for a lot of sunlight intake, okay? It falls out to about 12 by seven. It's 100 watts. 18 volt monocrystalline solar panels okay so it does fall up into a nice package but again it, it's very weighty in the sense of other items in your back pack so it falls out now matthias his had a stand that allows it to be directional because of course the sun moves but at some point it charges no matter in low sun light sun there is a charging so right now we're in the shade you can see the green light can you see that that neon green light it's still charging just opened it up we're in the shaded area so it's still gonna pull in some kind of uh, solar energy it's gonna be minimized but you can still pull in some kind of solar energy it has two usb ports on it and the dc or, or ac jack in order to charge a small battery pack you can plug your cell phone straight into it but it's enough power generated here to charge a small battery so i want to show you how the travel part of it would be both hands are full so that's something we have to consider so the battery is right about a uh, nine and a half pounds. The got, got some pine straw, and the uh, and the actual solar panel system is at five pounds, for like four point seven pounds. So it is a weighty package to carry. But even if you didn't include the battery, which has multiple USB ports, it has the USB C, has DC output, has lights on the front. You can charge wirelessly on top. You can just put your cell phone on top and charge it. So as Ezra mentioned, your solar panels will charge this battery throughout the day. You would use your battery at night. So every we show different sizes that are uh, bug out bag friendly, some that are not. This is something you would more like keep in your, in your vehicle. So you get to your destination, you can take it out, walk a shorter distance. Then if you are walking on foot, for 10, 20, 30 miles, it begins to get really heavy and cumbersome. But these are just a few options. Uh, price point is about 179 for the panels by themselves and the battery is about 400, give or take. Links will be in the description. 
it's whatever you can afford and whatever is best for you because everybody's bug out bag everyone's bug out bag is custom fitted for them you have uh big brothers this is nothing to them me i'm kind of weak so <laughs> it is cumbersome so i do like the other options we have more so for my bug out bag but here's another option the all powers uh solar panel system just the solar panels or you can add the battery as well all right back to ezra matter of fact all right, so on the flip side, something a lot lighter, right? It's about seven or eight inches wide. It only weighs five ounces. Now, it doesn't put out as much as any of the other ones, right? This one has, this one's actually a power film, power film solar panel. Now, the other ones are monocrystalline. This is a film um, solar panel, so it's you're able to Flex, it gives you a more, it's more forgiving, right? So if you drop it, you step on it, completely fine. These film solar panels, if it gets punctured, it'll still work, right? Now inside this tube right here, there's, this is the small version, right? This one right here has a uh, 18650 battery in there that charges with the sun, with the, with the panel. So that, this is kind of like, um, it's a two in one, right? You don't have to charge the power bank uh, and then use the power bank later. So this one actually is a power bank within the, in the panel. Uh, this one uh, uh, is very convenient because it's so lightweight. You can throw it in your pocket, you can roll it up. Um, it's about an inch in diameter, weighs only five ounces. Now they make a larger version of this. It is, um, this one puts out 32 milliamps with that 118650 battery. The larger version is just slightly bigger and actually the larger version is waterproof as well. The one thing to, to, to mention is that this one is not waterproof. Now you can waterproof this one. The reason why it's not waterproof is because the actual ports are exposed. The larger one, they change that and they put um, rubber grommets that you can throw right inside. It. So it makes it waterproof. Now the larger one is 1800 uh, milliamps. I think it has like uh, somewhere around six 18650s in it. Um, so uh, this is a, a great option for some of you that want to pack light, maybe for a get home bag. Uh, maybe, you know, your bug out bag might have one of the monocrystallines that will show, but something like a get home bag and you need your devices to speak to loved ones. Uh, as you're doing so, the power film, um, this power film solar panel is perfect for you. Also, this one comes with, on the end of it, comes with some bungee straps right there. That way you can strap that to your backpack. You can strap this straight to your backpack. Like this, and then while you're moving, while you're moving, it's actually charging. So it's a great way. It doesn't add anything but five ounces, which is nothing. You, do, you don't even feel the difference. Right? So those are the numerous solar panel options that we have. Stay tuned for some more uh, content. All right.